this morning, I'm going to be teaching you something very simple, something we see every day. What is foreshortening in visual art? Foreshortening. Now, it's a very simple you know, process or principle. It is uh, a way of creating an optical illusion in art. You know, to render an object in a three-dimensional format, to create an illusion of death. You know, when I say death, that's D-E-P-T-H, death. You know, creating that three-dimensional effect in a drawing. For example, if I am to draw my arm like this, if you're drawing it, basically, this is where you're going to create your foreshortening. You know, a three-dimensional illusion or an optical illusion to create what we call death, you know, in drawing. That way, it will appeal to visual sensor for the viewer. So it's a very, very you know, useful principle when you're drawing, especially when you have to render particularly an object in a way that shows that, yes, it is there, but it is not, you know, extending to maybe out of your drawing. So it's very common and you can see that every day in paintings, in drawing, in all form of uh, you know, free, you know, that drawing, basically to create a kind of three-dimensional, you know, uh, ideal, you know, or depth, you know, optical illusion, basically, that's what we call foreshortening in art. So this morning, we're going to be drawing a palm. I have a picture here, can you see? That is man or woman, I don't know. But you can see that foreshortening being created here. I'm going to be drawing that and then we're going to create our own you know, foreshortening you know, using this drawing as a guide. But before then, we have something fun to do this morning. We're going to be using our palm as the canvas to paint on. You're going to paint on this with different colors we have and then we can create a face or something on the palm and afterwards you're going to stamp it on your cardboard and then you will see the image you've created on your palm replicated you know by stamping on your car and then we can trace them out and it's going to be a fun class we're going to have a wonderful time this morning thank you